And um, I actually put on Facebook today, because I'm a bit of a Facebook whore, if anyone didn't realise, um, that I couldn't think of anything better to be doing on my 40th birthday than to be connecting with spirit and to delivering the messages. Because really, um, many people ask me about my work and what I do. And quite frankly, my work defines who I am. I, it's not a job, it's a vocation, it's who I am, it's everything about me. And every night when I stand on a stage and speak to many people, sometimes hundreds, sometimes thousands, mm -hmm that I surrender to spirit, and I surrender everything. I might look cute in my little pretty sparkly heels, you know, I, I might look cute in my little glittery eyelashes, but it is about connecting with your loved ones. And that's the reason why each and every single one of you is here tonight, correct? Yes. Let's just establish that. Right, and you talk to your son in the car, correct? All the time. All right, because he keeps talking about you talking to him in the car. Now, he's giving you the paper in some aspects. So there's something about the newspaper, and I feel like it was ro it's rolled up almost like the old, you know, you throw the newspaper and stuff. Whether he was a paper boy, I don't know, but I just keep being shown the newspaper for some reason. Would that make any sense? No, Do you always no. have the newspaper in your car? No. I'm going to leave it with you because I can't make it change. All right, what I'm seeing is what I'm seeing. I don't, wor don't worry about it. Now, he's just said, Dad, I'm okay. He, he's absolutely, okay. <laughs> is his name followed on after you? Yes. All right, because he's showing me there's a following on with the name. And I have to tell you, sorry, Mum and Sister, I'll deal with you in a minute, all right? <laughs> but this is about Dad. Dad, you may have sat on the fence and been a skeptic for a little bit of a time, okay? Which is fine. But he's showing me that you have a belief now. Do you understand? Yes, I do. And what he's actually telling... Thank you. And he's telling me that he comes in the Not dream exactly happy about the change of the dynamics in the family. I'm sure both of them are. They're not. Your mother's more vocal about it than your father. <laughs> okay? She is showing me that this needs to change. And would this be between one of the brothers or two of the brothers? It's, it's between me and the disagreements we've got now between both brothers. I, I've decided that um, we don't see eye to eye at the moment, so I don't want to see them. Okay. And I told them that. So. Okay. And I know my parents wouldn't be happy about that. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> However... Is there a disagreement over a house or a property? There was. Okay, because sh they're showing me the, the disagreement over the property, and this may have started it or whatever, but what he, they're showing me is that they would love it to come back together because they're telling me that this is something that needs to, well, in their mind, needs to happen. You're obviously a grown man, you, need, you can make your own decisions. But that's their side, okay? However, your youngest brother, the younger one of the two, yes. doesn't listen. No, that's right. <laughs> and your mum's pretty much aware of this, okay? And they're actually aware of the fact that he doesn't listen. So he's the headstrong one, not the other one. Yeah. Okay? And that's where the difficulties may lie. Two of you, but it just felt like you know when that's you, not a secret. No. That's all right, but it's just like it's, it just kept showing me that he would wind you up. Do you understand that? Yes. And often when they wind him up, it's because you're like that, like you. But it's 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 this is how he's showing me. But he really thinks the world of you. Okay. Now, were you not there at the funeral? Yes, I was. Who wasn't there at the funeral then? There's someone that yeah. wasn't there at the funeral. Yeah, true, this true. Okay, because he keeps acknowledging the fact that someone wasn't there at the funeral that should have been there, and it doesn't matter, okay? Now, has your mum crossed? No. All right, in that case, he's saying he wants... Uh, hang on, I, I don't, I don't... Oh, I need more information about the mother. Okay, let me explain this. He actually wants to acknowledge your mum, all right? But I almost, it's like, I want to say hi to mum. That's what he was acknowledging here. Okay. Now, I'm going to come back to the mother figure in a minute, okay? Because I do feel as though there's a female that's actually wandering in on this, on this whole little jaunt that's going on. All right, now, 
He's given me a birthday. That there's a feeling around a birthday. Now, obviously, it's my birthday, so I'll take all the happy birthdays I can get. But even if they're dead. But <laughs> they always do. They're like, hey, happy birthday. I'm like, great. Um, do you want to eat the chocolate I've been given? Because trust me, I'm going to be this wide otherwise. Um, but what he's showing me is there's a connection to a birthday. Either it's someone's birthday now or when he passed, it was around someone's birthday. When he passed, it was around his daughter's okay. birthday. Okay, all right, because he's acknowledging the fact of the birthday, okay? Very important to acknowledge. He wants you to know he's okay. He's saying that, can you tell my mum I'm sorry? And there was nothing he's after your grandfather, and there was a big yeah. gap, yep. okay? Yep. Now, in that, on your father's side, yep. okay? Now, in that case... Was your grandfather, sorry, your grandmother on your mother's, on your father's side, difficult when your grandfather passed? Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Because what she's showing me is she was showing me that she was more difficult once your grandfather had passed, and she was just hard work. Yes, she was very sad and very alive. Oh. She would drink a lot. It was just get on fine. heavy <laughs> duty, you know. Ugh. I just keep seeing that it was like hard work. She's laughing actually because she saw what she was like and she's saying that she's sorry, yep. okay? And I'm going, I feel as though she would talk the hind legs off a donkey and she would talk, talk, yeah. talk, 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 talk. talk. that trait, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, no, 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 okay? And this is how it's coming across. Yeah. Now, let me go with this. Uh, the, two, the four of them in that case are actually quite friendly. So yeah. they all yeah. knew each other. There's a lot of fun here, yeah. okay? Now, you, is your mum still with us? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Has, who has had the cancer, or who ha was my that? My auntie Anne. That would be my nana's sister, but she was actually three years younger than my mum. Okay. So they were like sisters. And she's still with us? Um, or she yeah. crossed? No, she's crossed. Okay. Because actually, so has nana's other sister, Norma. They both had lung cancer. Okay. I felt as though it was connected to someone like your mother that crossed through the cancer, and I wasn't sure where this was, okay? That would be Anne. Um, it's funny how the names, if you notice all the names sort of like come through and yeah. the, it all kind of interlinks. Uh, well, my, I've got two son-in-laws that run the I had a business of my own. I had <laughs> <laughs> right. And you no longer have that business, do you? No. You don't have it anymore. Oh, no. Okay. Because no. what he's showing me is that someone used to run their own business at this period of time, so it was you. Yeah. All right. And he's showing me that you were very firm in what you believed, and it's like it was your way or the highway. Okay. Yeah. It was your way or the highway in many respects, and that's what the way that they're coming through. There's a lot of laughter over here, I have to tell you. A lot of laughter. Now, is there also another gentleman that there's a lot of heartfelt emotion here? I don't know whether there's. Um, a husband or a partner or someone my husband right who's crossed yeah because he's, he's coming recently. he's coming in and I tell you I love you the emotion he's giving me is like this oh, emotion of love okay and he's just he's just walked in ever so proud ever so proud and like um, I can't explain it just this this Okay. He said it broke his heart to leave you. That'll be wrong. Do you understand that? It broke, it broke his heart to leave you. He said, and you were his world. There was often talk, actually, in many respects, about who was going to go first. Yes, that's right. <laughs> we were both sick at the same time. Yeah, who was going to go first? And he's saying... He's saying, well, you look at you, fighting fit now, all right? <laughs> and he's, he's showing me, but he couldn't, he couldn't... But you knew that he was going to go somehow. Yes. There was something about it where you just thought, he's not going to do it. He's not going to co come through with this. No, okay, fine. He's just actually bringing me in with a red rose here. Now, a red rose can often symbolise a birthday or an anniversary, but I do feel as though the red rose is something else that's more significant to you. <laughs> yeah, I could be dropping my foot in it here, but there you go. He actually, I feel here as though this Jean or Janine or whoever it is, is not doing her job correctly. Okay. I've been in already, but I can do it again. <laughs> and it's like...